first we have Nifa Mweba, the visionary behind her own label, Hanifa. Her designs have been worn by celebrities like Fantasia, Kylie Jenner, and Zendaya actually wore one of her dresses on the cover of the September 2020 issue of InStyle. What a beautiful cover. But that's just part of her story. Take a look. Hanifa is the evolution of becoming a woman. From the time she was a little girl, Anifa Mwemba dreamed of being a fashion designer. I felt like I was a baby when I started. She was on her way to making her dream come true, working in retail and studying in fashion, merchandising at Morgan State University. I was a broke young woman in her 20s, and I was like, crap, 21 is coming, and I really don't have a dress. So on the day of her 21st birthday party, Anifa, desperate for a dress, collected scraps of fabric and sewed her first ever design. And it was just like love from there. At first, it was like, oh, I'm just making cute stuff for myself, and I'm posting it on Instagram, one or two orders here. And then, you know, the orders just started to, like, increase. In just a year, Hanifa had enough made-to-order pieces to launch her first collection, and her fashion brand, Hanifa, was born. And I was literally doing everything by myself. I was like, this is too much. I'm done. I'm done. Anifa had the creative vision, but when it came to running a business, she says she felt like a failure and in 2015 made the difficult decision to shut down her company. I was really soul searching, trying to figure out who I was. You know, what, what am I supposed to do here? Though Anifa tried to move on, her fans let her know that they were hungry for more. I had random people coming up to me like, oh my God, aren't you that girl that makes clothes? And I'm just like, okay, God, I got it. This is what you want me to do. And uh, 2016, I jumped right back in and I never looked back since. And Anifa joins us now from her home in Tyson, Virginia. So good to see you. I'm honored to have such a beautiful dress that you've created. Uh, earlier this year, you made headlines for being, let me get this right, the first designer to do a virtual fashion show during the pandemic. There were no models. There were no front row celebrities. I want to show people what that looked like. That is stunning. Where did you get this concept from? That was your pink label Congo collection. The fabric, the movement. How did you envision doing that? You know, it was, you know, the world was was literally going through a frenzy. And, you know, I think a lot of creative ideas and some of my best ideas comes from, you know, difficult times. Right. And I've been fascinated with the 3D technology for some time. And um, I've been designing this collection since November of last year. And, you know, everything just kind of came together. It looks um, beautiful. I, First of all, the curves on that virtual model are ridiculous. <laughs> but I have to tell you, <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, I need some of that. But listen, I, I think this is incredible. Here you are on this high, being celebrated as a visionary to do this first virtual uh, pandemic fashion show. And then mm -hmm. there was an article in Forbes magazine that set off a scandal when the magazine mm -hmm. wrongly credited a whole nother company with having mm -hmm. the first virtual runway. People were furious coming to your defense. How, what did you learn from that controversy? Because we hear so much about artists having their ideas taken or stolen. And in this case, you experienced it firsthand, whether it was deliberate or not. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was honestly so overwhelming because we, I was still on a high from the virtual show. It literally happened a week after. And, you know, a week after, a week after my show was when, you know, the murder of George, George Floyd happened and then the Black Lives Matter move. So to me, it felt super tone deaf because, you know, I think every single black person um, in the world was feeling so overwhelmed with so many different emotions. And then, you know, this article comes out so quickly and then it's just like, you know, here goes another form of erasure. Here we go again. Um, and, you know, this was my first time experiencing it, like, publicly. Uh, well, you were, re you were able to claim that important title because I think, again, that helps um, put your stamp in the fashion world that you were the visionary behind this. They corrected mm -hmm. the mistake, and now here you are, mm -hmm. and we're wearing one of your dresses. Now, you have some other looks from your line. Walk us through the first design. You have a maxi dress. Tell me about this. Yeah, so the maxi dress really embodies the 
subtle confidence in a, in a woman, that subtle confidence that we all have. And I really wanted to highlight the Congo River. A lot of people don't know that it's the deepest river in the world. Mm. And this was my way of showing that to everyone and just kind of showing Congo in my own eyes and how I see it. I just love the way your fabrics move, the color, the texture, the femininity of it all. Take me through the next look. It's a, am I saying this right? Kinshasa backless mini dress? Kinshasa, Kinshasa. yeah, Kinshasa. Kinshasa. Yes. So Kinshasa is actually the capital of Congo, and I really wanted to incorporate the flag of my country mm. because it has so much meaning to it. Um, the red uh, represents the pain and suffering, the blue, the peace, and then the yellow, the hope and future of Congo. And this was me, honestly, just showing the world, like, look, this is where I'm from, and this yeah. is what it means to be from Congo. Beautiful. And Zendaya wore that dress for In Style magazine. I remember seeing yeah. this cover and I'm, I thought, who made this dress? Somebody need to find <laughs> this dress and the creator <laughs> of this dress for me. What is that like for such a big celebrity knowing that at one point you had to shut the doors of your business believing that you wouldn't reopen and here one of the most beautiful actresses and activists in the world is wearing your design? I was speechless because oh. one, it's Zendaya, and two, it's like, oh my God, she's wearing my dresses. So this was actually our first major cover. So I'm just honestly so grateful. Well, congratulations on perseverance and fighting to own your name and own your identity. In a world that's so cluttered, you are a standout. Thank you, Anifa, and this dress is smoking. I don't know if I ever want to take it off. Thank you so much. You look amazing. You look <laughs> Thank amazing. you. Thank you.